configure Azure Active Directory. Transitioning workloads to the cloud involves more than just moving servers, websites, and data. Companies need to think about how to secure their resources and identify authorized users. In this module, your company is planning to implement Azure Active Directory and features like Azure Active Directory Join and Self-Service Password Reset. You need to understand how to choose the Azure Active Directory edition that works best for your organization and explore how to implement required features. Learning objectives. In this module, you learn how to define Azure Active Directory concepts, including identities, accounts, and tenants. Describe Azure Active Directory features to support different configurations. Understand differences between Azure Active Directory and Active Directory domain services. Choose between supported editions of Azure Active Directory. Implement the Azure Active Directory join feature. Use the Azure Active Directory self-service password reset feature. Skills measure. The content in the module helps you prepare for exam AZ 104, Microsoft Azure Administrator. The module concepts are covered in Manage Identities and Governance in Azure. Manage Azure Active Directory Objects. Configure Self-Service Password Reset. Configure Azure Active Directory Join. Describe Azure Active Directory benefits and features. Azure Active Directory is Microsoft's multi-tenant cloud-based directory and identity management service. Azure Active Directory helps to support user access to resources and applications, such as internal resources and apps located on your corporate network. External resources like Microsoft 365, the Azure Portal, and SaaS applications. Cloud apps developed for your organization. The following diagram shows an example implementation of Azure Active Directory. In this scenario, Windows Server Active Directory is using Kerberos and NTLM authentication to on-premises applications. Things to know about Azure Active Directory features. Let's examine some of the prominent features of Azure Active Directory. Azure Active Directory feature. Description. Single sign-on access. Azure Active Directory provides secure single sign-on to web apps on the cloud and to on-premises apps. Users can sign in with the same set of credentials to access all their apps. Ubiquitous device support. Azure Active Directory works with iOS, macOS, Android, and Windows devices and offers a common experience across the devices. Users can launch apps from a personalized web-based access panel, mobile app, Microsoft 365, or custom company portals by using their existing work credentials. Secure Remote Access Azure Active Directory enables secure remote access for on-premises web apps. Secure access can include multi-factor authentication, conditional access policies, and group-based access management. Users can access on-premises web apps from everywhere, including from the same portal. Cloud Extensibility Azure Active Directory can extend to the cloud to help you manage a consistent set of users, groups, passwords, and devices across environments. Sensitive Data Protection Azure Active Directory offers unique identity protection capabilities to secure your sensitive data and apps. Admins can monitor for suspicious side inactivity and potential vulnerabilities in a consolidated view of users and resources in the directory. Self-service support. Azure Active Directory lets you delegate tasks to company employees that might otherwise be completed by admins with higher access privileges. Providing self-service app access and password management through verification steps can reduce help desk calls and enhance security. Things to consider when using Azure Active Directory features. Azure Active Directory offers many features and benefits. Consider which features can be used to best support your corporate scenarios. Consider enabling single sign-on access. Enable SSL access for your users to connect to the cloud or use on-premises apps. Azure Active Directory SSO supports Microsoft 365 and thousands of SaaS apps such as Salesforce, Workday, DocuSign, ServiceNow, and Box. Consider UX and device support. Build a consistent user experience that works for all devices and directory access points. You can design custom company portals and personalize web-based access for your employees that lets them connect with their existing work credentials. Consider benefits of secure remote access. Protect your on-premises web apps by implementing secure remote access with MFA and access policies. Consider advantages of cloud extensibility. Connect Active Directory 
and other on-premises directories in the cloud to Azure Active Directory in just a few steps. You can make it easier for your admins to manage the same users, groups, passwords, and devices across all supported environments. Consider advanced protection for sensitive data. Enhance the security of your sensitive data and apps by using the built-in protection features of Azure Active Directory. Your admins can utilize advanced security reports, notifications, remediation recommendations, and risk-based policies. Consider reduced costs, self-service options. Take advantage of the Azure Active Directory self-service features to help reduce costs for your organization. Delegate certain tasks like resetting passwords or creating and managing groups to your non-admin users. In the next unit, we explore the Azure Active Directory concepts that make these features possible. Describe Azure Active Directory concepts. To implement Azure Active Directory in your corporate configuration, you need to understand the key components of the service. The following table describes the main components and concepts of Azure Active Directory and explains how they work together to support service features. Azure Active Directory Concept Description Identity An identity is an object that can be authenticated. The identity can be a user with a username and password. Identities can also be applications or other servers that require authentication by using secret keys or certificates. Azure Active Directory is the underlying product that provides the identity service. Account An account is an identity that has data associated with it. To have an account, you must first have a valid identity. You can't have an account without an identity. Azure Active Directory Account An Azure Active Directory account is an identity that's created through Azure Active Directory or another Microsoft Cloud service, such as Microsoft 365. Identities are stored in Azure Active Directory and are accessible to your organization's cloud service subscriptions. The Azure Active Directory account is also called a work or school account. Azure Tenant An Azure Tenant is a single dedicated and trusted instance of Azure Active Directory. Each tenant represents a single organization. When your organization signs up for a Microsoft Cloud Service subscription, a new tenant is automatically created. Because each tenant is a dedicated and trusted instance of Azure Active Directory, you can create multiple tenants or instances. Azure Subscription An Azure subscription is used to pay for Azure Cloud services. Each subscription is joined to a single tenant. You can have multiple subscriptions. Tip If you're a Microsoft 365 Azure or Dynamics CRM online customer, you might already be using Azure Active Directory. Every Microsoft 365 Azure and Dynamics CRM tenant is already an Azure Active Directory tenant. You can start using your tenant to manage access to thousands of other cloud apps that integrate with Azure Active Directory. Compare Active Directory Domain Services to Azure Active Directory. Active Directory Domain Services is the traditional deployment of Windows Server-based Active Directory on a physical or virtual server. Active Directory DS is commonly considered to be primarily a directory service, but it's only one component of the Windows Active Directory suite of technologies. The suite also includes Active Directory Certificate Services, Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services, Active Directory Federation Services, and Active Directory Rights Management Services. Important. Although you can deploy and manage Active Directory DS in Azure Virtual Machines, we recommend you use Azure Active Directory unless your configuration targets IIS workloads that depend specifically on Active Directory DS things to consider when using Azure Active Directory rather than Active Directory DS. Azure Active Directory is similar to Active Directory DS, but there are significant differences. It's important to understand that using Azure Active Directory for your configuration is different from deploying an Active Directory domain controller on an Azure Virtual Machine and then adding it to your on-premises domain. As you plan your identity strategy, consider the following characteristics that distinguish Azure Active Directory from Active Directory DS. Identity Solution Active Directory DS is primarily a directory service, while Azure Active Directory is a full identity solution. Azure Active Directory is designed for internet-based applications that use HTTP and HTTPS communications. The features and capabilities of Azure Active Directory support target strong identity management. REST API queries Azure Active Directory is based on HTTP 
and HTTPS protocols. Azure Active Directory tenants can be queried by using LDAP. Azure Active Directory uses the REST API over HTTP and HTTPS. Communication protocols. Because Azure Active Directory is based on HTTP and HTTPS, it doesn't use Kerberos authentication. Azure Active Directory implements HTTP and HTTPS protocols such as SAML, WS Federation, and OpenID Connect for authentication. Federation Services Azure Active Directory includes Federation Services and many third-party services like Facebook. Flat Structure Azure Active Directory users and groups are created in a flat structure. There are no organizational units or group policy objects. Managed Service Azure Active Directory is a managed service. You manage only users, groups, and policies. If you deploy Active Directory DS with virtual machines by using Azure, you manage many other tasks, including deployment, configuration, virtual machines, patching, and other backend processes. Select Azure Active Directory Editions. Azure Active Directory comes in four editions, free Microsoft 365 apps, Premium P1, and Premium P2. The free edition is included with an Azure subscription. The premium editions are available through a Microsoft Enterprise Agreement, the Open Volume License Program, and the Cloud Solution Providers Program. Azure and Microsoft 365 subscribers can also buy Azure Active Directory Premium P1 and P2 online. Things to know about Azure Active Directory editions. Consider the following features that distinguish the different editions of Azure Active Directory. After you review the features and descriptions, think about which edition works best for your organization. An X indicates the feature is supported. Azure Active Directory free. The free edition provides user and group management, on-premises directory synchronization, and basic reports. Single sign-on access is supported across Azure, Microsoft 365, and many popular SaaS apps. Azure Active Directory Microsoft 365 apps. This edition is included with Microsoft 365. In addition to the free features, this edition provides identity and access management for Microsoft 365 apps. The extra support includes branding, MFA, group access management, and self-service password reset for cloud users. Azure Active Directory Premium P1 In addition to the free features, the Premium P1 edition lets your hybrid users access both on-premises and cloud resources. This edition supports advanced administration like dynamic groups, self-service group management, and cloud write-back capabilities. P1 also includes Microsoft Identity Manager, an on-premises identity and access management suite. The extra features in P1 allow self-service password reset for your on-premises users. Azure Active Directory Premium P2 In addition to the free and P1 features, the Premium P2 edition offers Azure Active Directory identity protection to help provide risk-based conditional access to your apps and critical company data. Privileged identity management is included to help discover, restrict, and monitor administrators and their access to resources, and to provide just-in-time access when needed. Tip. The Azure Active Directory pricing page has detailed information on what's included in each edition. Implement Azure Active Directory Join. Azure Active Directory enables single sign-on to devices, applications, and services from anywhere. To support SSO, it admins must ensure corporate assets are protected and devices meet standards for security and compliance. The Azure Active Directory Join feature works with SSO to provide access to organizational apps and resources, and to simplify Windows deployments of work on devices. Things to know about the Azure Active Directory Join feature. Let's look at some of the benefits of using Join devices. Benefit, Description, Single Sign-On, Join devices offer SSO access to your Azure Managed SaaS apps and services. Your users won't have extra authentication prompts when they access work resources. The SSO functionality is available even when users aren't connected to the domain network. Enterprise state roaming. Starting in Windows 10, your users can securely synchronize their user settings and app settings data to join devices. 
enterprise stake roaming reduces the time to configure a new device. Access to Microsoft Store for Business When your users access Microsoft Store for Business by using an Azure Active Directory account, they can choose from an inventory of applications pre-selected by your organization. Windows Hello Provide your users with secure and convenient access to work resources from joint devices. Restriction of Access Restrict user access to apps from only joint devices that meet your compliance policies. Seamless access to on-premises resources. Joint devices have seamless access to on-premises resources. When the device has line of sight to the on-premises domain controller. Things to consider when using joint devices. Your organization is interested in using joint devices in their management strategy. As you plan for how to implement the feature, review these configuration points. Consider connection options. Connect your device to Azure Active Directory in one of two ways. Register your device to Azure Active Directory so you can manage the device identity. Azure Active Directory device registration provides the device with an identity that's used to authenticate the device when a user signs into Azure Active Directory. You can use the identity to enable or disable the device. Join your device, which is an extension of registering a device. Joining provides the benefits of registering and also changes the local state of the device. Changing the local state enables your users to sign into a device by using an organizational work or school account instead of a personal account. Consider combining registration with other solutions. Combine registration with a mobile device management solution like Microsoft Intune. To provide other device attributes in Azure Active Directory, you can create conditional access rules that enforce access from devices to meet organization standards for security, and compliance. Consider other implementation scenarios. Although Active Directory Join is intended for organizations that don't have an on-premises Windows Server Active Directory infrastructure, it can be used for other scenarios like branch offices. Implement Azure Active Directory Self-Service Password Reset. Many help desk calls are requests to reset passwords for users. The Azure Active Directory Self-Service Password Reset feature lets you give users the ability to bypass help desk and reset their own passwords. Things to know about the Azure Active Directory SSPR feature. Examine the following characteristics and requirements of the SSPR feature. SSPR requires an Azure Active Directory account with global administrator privileges to manage SSPR options. This account can always reset their own passwords, no matter what options are configured. SSPR uses a security group to limit the users who have SSPR privileges. All user accounts in your organization must have a valid license to use SSPR. Things to consider when using SSPR. Your organization wants to implement support for SSPR in their management solution. As you plan for your configuration, review the following points. Consider who can reset their passwords. Decide which users in your organization should be enabled to use the feature. In the Azure portal, there are three options for the SSPR feature, none, selected, and all. The selected option is useful for creating specific groups who have SSPR enabled. You can create groups for testing a proof of concept before applying the feature to a larger group. When you're ready to deploy SSPR to all user accounts in your Azure Active Directory tenant, you can change the setting. Consider your authentication methods. Determine how many authentication methods are required to reset a password and select the authentication options for users. Your system must require at least one authentication method to reset a password. A strong SSPR plan offers multiple authentication methods for the user. Options include email notification, text message, or a security code sent to the user's mobile or office phone. You can also offer the user a set of security questions. You can require security questions to be registered for the users in your Azure Active Directory tenant. You can configure how many correctly answered security questions are required for a successful password reset. Consider combining methods for stronger security. Security questions can be less secure than other authentication methods. Some users might know the answers for a particular user's question, or the questions might be easy to solve. If you support security questions, combine this option with other authentication methods.